It's Jan from Jan Does Reviews, and um, I think I'm going to go over whether I actually used all the stuff I got in my subscription boxes for the month of September or not. Um, the first box, or well, the first two boxes, are actually going to be from August, uh, since I did receive them at the end of the month, do like I usually do. Um, the first one would be BoxyCharm, and August theme was go all out and you get six full-size items um, let me get those all out here real quick okay <clears throat> haven't used them still um, I anticipate that they will be fine but right now I have plenty of um, these smaller, thinner ones that I'm using. I might use these once those start to wear out and need replacing. Um, these are just thicker and larger, but I haven't really needed them. So I haven't really used them, but I imagine I will at some point. Um, also, still have not tried the Wishful Cream. I'm hesitant on this because it does have lavender. Um, I don't, I'm not allergic to lavender, but I don't enjoy the smell of it. If it's fresh cut lavender, I'm fine with it. Um, but even dried flowers, I don't like. It has to be a fresh cut stalk of lavender. Uh, fragrance, added fragrance in the lavender sense, not such a fan of. So, this is still, you know, I anticipate liking it as long as it's not too strong and there's no allergic reaction. So, <clears throat> that one's just kind of a maybe. <laughs> um, the Rainforest Mist Flawless Finish Hairspray. Um, it is scented. It's a hair perfume and finishing spray. I've used it a couple of times. It's okay. Um, nothing spectacular. Wasn't wild about it. It was just, you know, so-so. The House Labs. Um, I forget the name of it. Let me look at my little card here. Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder Eyeshadow. It's really pretty. It's very dark and bronzy. Um... <clears throat> I just, I don't wear a lot of this kind of stuff, so it's just, you know, eh. Uh, the Persona Cosmetics Bronzing Stick. I like it. This is in the color Dune. The shade is okay. It's a little orangier than I would prefer. I prefer them to either have more of a red or yellow undertone. This one is, you know, right in the middle. It's kind of orangey on my skin tone. So, not a favorite, but it's not bad. I can make it work. So, <clears throat> it's just, eh. And then the last thing, uh, this crystal, or crystal, rose quartz <laughs> Lux and Willow facial massager. I actually have used this several times. I like the shape of it. It's much more enjoyable. Um, in my first, you know, my first impressions, I was comparing it to the um, <clears throat> complex culture T-bar massager. This one, it hits a point along my jawline that's painful. And this one, even when I, I never hit that point. So this one just works for my face shape a little better. Um, it's very enjoyable. I like it. It's always feels nice and cool. It's, it's just nice. So, <clears throat> out of that box, we have an $80 face tool and a $50.49 uh, balm. It's a jelly moisturizing moisturizer. Um, so, these come to a total of $129 for a $35 box. So, not, not terrible. <clears throat> then we have from August the box and this was the theme express yourself and you get six full-size items 
we got a bonus um, <clears throat> little item as well, which was this little um, facial sunblock. And I anticipated using this at a picnic that we went to. It was very, very warm that day. Um, <coughs> but I honestly, this was in my purse and I, I totally forgot that I even had it. It just, it was okay. Nothing that just wowed me, made me remember it. Um, then we have the Mirabella Iconic Winged Liner Stamp Kit. And this has a regular felt tip liner on one end and then a winged stamp on the other. And I have tried several times and I can get one eye on great and the other eye forget it. So I just, need, I guess I need to practice with it. The stamp isn't super black, but it gives a good outline. So then you can go back in with the brush tip and fill it in better and, you know, finish lining the rest of your eye. But I'm not a super huge fan of the winged liner look anyway. So I don't know. It's just, yeah. Um, HD spray from Bella Pierre. I don't use these things and I think it smells bad. So that's a no-go. Um, the last four things though I did like. Uh, I like the lotion. I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. It's still rather warm in Kentucky so um, my skin hasn't been especially dry. But I anticipate that I will use this quite a bit more as it, um, you know, fall progresses into winter and the heat comes on and you know you just need the extra moisture in your skin. Uh, the Bella Pierre micro brow pencil. I do like that quite a bit. The tone is good. It's not too red. It's um, not too cool toned. It's, it's a perfect medium brown. So I did enjoy that quite a bit. I also liked the um, Mirabella sculpting duo. And mine, Love Struck and Destiny are the shades. I can get this open. That's the only thing. It is, the compact is a little difficult to open. So, um, but the highlighter is very iridescent. It's really pretty. The bronzer is a nice neutral tone. It's not too red, not too yellow, not too orange. You know, it's just a a nice subtle bronzer. They're not overly pigmented. I really enjoyed it. And then the Beauty Crops Espresso Yourself Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I found myself picking this up quite a few times. And they are all just the perfect mix of browns and creams, you know. There's enough shimmer and mattes to do several different eye looks. I like it. So, um, so for the box, which is $25, <clears throat> we have $21 palette, $20 eye pencil, and a $32 sculpting palette, which brings us to a total of $73 for that box. So, you know, not, not bad return on the money. Um, Now on to boxes that I did get at the first part of September. First we have Glitz Glam Box and their theme was Extension and I never wore the lashes. They are pretty but they're just not the style that I typically wear. I like um, the lash lengths are kind of staggered. I'll pull it out so you can see. I prefer um, the lashes to be, you know, full all the way across, not this in, out, in, out, in, out, pie cut kind of deal. Um, so they're not really my style. I'm sure my daughter or one of her friends will be happy to receive these. So, you know, they're just a eh. Then we also had 
the glitter from Hot Kitty Beauty. And the, the packaging is just cute as can be. I love it. It's in a little gemstone shape. And it is in the color hollow. I don't use glitter um, in makeup. Um, I don't go specifically out of my way to purchase glitter, but um, I will use it in crafting or my nails at some point. That's the only time I actually would use glitter. So, and then the last thing was, <clears throat> excuse me, last two things, both from Color Story, were a lip duo and can't remember I got rid of the packaging but they had a a duo name but there are two shades in here um, neither of which I'm wild about they're just both okay they're both very very peachy I would have preferred something a little more pinker so that was a pass but I did like the palette um, this is the escapism palette I didn't use it a lot, but um, I do like the purple tones mixed in with the more neutrals and golds. And I anticipate that I will probably use this as we get further into fall. And uh, the pigmentation was good on this. There was nothing wrong with it. The mattes are a little powdery and the shimmers weren't quite as you know, wow in your face as some, but they weren't bad by any means. You just had to build them up a little better. You definitely needed to use your finger. The eyeshadow brush just didn't work with them, the formula that they are. But it, a lot of shimmers are that way. So there's nothing against it. You just need to know how to use it to get what you want out of it. So for a $15 box, <clears throat> I liked a $15 palette. So I got my money's worth didn't get a great return on the the um, cost of the box, but I didn't lose any money, so that's always a plus. Next up, we have the Allure Beauty Box for September, and it was pretty good. Um, we got the Sunday Riley Lighthearted Sunscreen. I still haven't used it. I'm still trying to get through my oldest sunscreen, which is a Mermaid Skin uh, Gel Sunscreen from CanMake. I am almost through that. And then I have a couple of Cetaphil samples that I'd like to use up since they are older than this. And then I will get to this one. Um, we also got the Alpha H Liquid Gold Hyaluron with Glycolic Acid Serum. And I have not tried this as well, but I imagine I will like it as long as I don't have an allergic reaction. Same caveat with the, the Sunday Riley, you know, barring skin reactions, it should be fine. I have tried the Neep bath salts before, and the lavender is definitely overpowering in this. Do not like them, will not use them, so that's just a pass. The Anastasia liquid lip is just too dark. Um, I like the formula just fine. I put on a thin coat in my try on video, and it was fine. It was just the shade was too dark and didn't flatter me at all. Just it was, it's a pass. Uh, I have not tried the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Dual Phase Bacatoil Serum, but I anticipate liking it. Again, no skin reactions. And the belief, <clears throat> believe in truth. The True Cream Aqua Balm um, Moisturizer. I believe I've tried this before. It was in a different packaging, but this is still just a small sample size, as you can see there. Uh, I just haven't opened this one because I am working my way through moisturizers, and I don't want to open it and have it go bad before I can get through it. So, out of a $23 subscription box for Allure. We have a $35 sunscreen. We have a $54 serum. We have an $8.61 deluxe sample size serum and a deluxe sample size 
moisturizer sample for $7.46. So these four things come to a total of $105.07 for $23 box. So yeah, that's, that's not bad at all, right? Then for the last box, Walmart for fall. I, uh, we got the CS Moi Purifying Charcoal Clay Facial Mask. Still haven't tried it, but I might. Um, we got the Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier. And basically, this stuff is like Gatorade. You know, it, it increases your electrolytes. Haven't tried it yet, but it's in the sh uh, shade. <laughs> it's in the flavor Passion Fruit. We got a sample of Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, Pomegranate Seed, and Shea Butter. Still haven't tried this yet. We got a Burt's Bees Facial Cleanser, Sensitive Skin with Cotton Extract. I don't use these kinds of things, so um, if I don't use it to wash my makeup brushes, I'll probably pass it off to my daughter or one of her friends. And then I got the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge in the Sugar Crush color. And I do love that this is one of my favorite sponges. So definitely will use that. So out of a $7 Walmart box, technically it's $6.98. But <clears throat> out of that, I anticipate, well, I know I like the sponge already. So I know I like that. And I anticipate um, liking the Dove body polish as well. So that will give me a total of $6 and a penny for a $7 box. So not great on that one. But in the past, the Walmart box has been really great. And um, if you all are curious what I've spent and what actual value or perceived value I think I might have, out of all of this, out of those five boxes, I spent a total of $105. But the products that I received inside that I did like or I anticipate liking came to a total of $328.07. So more than three times the value of what I spent. So that's really not bad. Um, now, some months are better than others, and some are worse. This one's not bad. Um, I'm not going to complain. i got some crazy hair going on today. So, stay tuned. Um, I do have the special edition Halloween Walmart box. I'll be filming that soon. Hopefully, my voice will improve. I know I sound kind of froggy. Um, and... I'll be getting October subscription boxes and hopefully they will be very spooky themed. I'm hoping they are. So I hope you all are having a great day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices. Bye.